Hey, this is Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I want to talk to you about how to put on sterile gloves. As a nurse, you will be required to use sterile gloves when you insert Foley catheters, when you access sub-Q ports, or when you change central line dressings. Now, whenever I was a nursing student, I actually was tested on how to put on these gloves. So if you're a nursing student, you may be tested by your clinical instructor on how to put them on, and you can use this video as a quick reference on how to put them on. So, first what we're going to do is you'll get your sterile gloves. Sterile gloves come in different sizes, so be sure to pick the correct size of sterile gloves. If you're a man, you'll probably need larger gloves. They come in small, medium, or large, or they're labeled with a number. Um, these are size 6. They're on the smaller side because I have small hands, so I'm going to use these. So first what you'll do is you'll open up your sterile gloves. And before you put on your gloves, of course, you'll want to do hand hygiene. Either wash your hands with soap and water or use the alcohol sanitizer. Now, when, if you're inserting a Foley catheter or you're going to change a central line dressing, it'll come in a package like this, okay? It won't have this with it. It'll come like that. So what you'll do is you'll unfold it. And when you unfold it, you will see these little creases around here. This is for you to open them without contaminating the gloves. So what I like to do is I like to take my fingers and I like to reach underneath and grab these little flaps right here so I can pull them open. And remember, you have two inches to grab so you won't contaminate the field. And I'm pulling them open and see how it's wanting to close like that. That's okay, that's normal, it happens. So just pull it out. You have the two inches, remember, and flatten it out and you have your gloves. You have your left glove and your right glove. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to glove your dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to glove my right hand first, and if you're left-handed, you'll glove your left hand first. So what I'll do is I'll get my left hand ready to glove my right hand. Okay, what I'll do is I'll take my fingers and I'm going to grasp this cuff right here. They'll be folded like that in the little plastic thing and grab them like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my thumb tucked in because this will allow me to slide the glove on a lot easier without my thumb getting in the way and if your thumb gets in the way you may touch the outside of the glove and contaminate it so keep it tucked in just going to grab and you're just going to take your hand down in the glove just pull it up and I'm pulling with this and it's okay to do that and I've pulled it up my arm and I'm sterile hands are sterile and take your fingers with the little cuff and just pull it up your arm to make them fit a little bit better. Okay, this hand is sterile. Do not touch anything other than this glove and the inside of the surface because you will contaminate your gloves. Don't touch the bedside table, your face, your skin, or anything. So now we're going to glove our left hand. We're going to take our right hand and we're going to go underneath this cuff instead of grasping like we did before. We're going to go underneath it. Okay, and whenever you do that, the paper tends to move. So just take your time and just sort of work your fingers underneath there and you're going to hold it. Okay, because we have went underneath here and we're not grasping like we did before and to help us to put it on better, we're going to keep our thumb out. Remember how before I told you to tuck it in? We're going to keep it out first and we're going to keep our fingers together and we're going to slide the glove up through those fingers, okay? like this, and you're pushing with the other hand. Now we're going to tuck the thumb under so we can slide the glove. And just pull. Okay. And then it's on. And sometimes the gloves will be a little twisted or messed up. You can just take your hands and you can just fix them and make them more comfortable for you. Okay, and we have our sterile gloves on. Okay, and usually what happens whenever you are all sterile and you have your gloves on, your face will itch or the patient will need something. So do not touch your face, don't touch the bedside table, don't touch the bed, don't touch anything because if you do, you'll have to repeat this whole procedure over again and put your sterile gloves on. So I hope this video helped you out. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. Also, visit my website, registerednursern.com, for more information on nursing school and how to succeed as a nurse. Thank you so much for watching.